Okay, guys, we, uh, according to Joel, it is uh, time for our uh, daily relaxation session of doing math. So let's get this happening here. I'll write out the question, simplify, and identify the non permissible. So we'll start with a 12m squared f. 5cf times 15c over 4m. So let's do our non permissibles first. c cannot equal 0, f cannot equal 0, and m cannot equal 0. Now let's work this out. 12 and 4, 1, 3. m is gone. One of those m's is gone. F is gone by this one, C is gone by this one, and 5 becomes 1 and 3. What's left? 3 times 3 times M, 9M over 1. Final answer, B. Let's rewrite it, 3A minus B over A minus 1 a plus 5 times a minus 5, a plus 5 over 15, a minus b. Our restricted values, a cannot equal 1, negative 5, and a also can't equal b, because if a equals b, a minus b, b minus b would be 0. Then I get my cancelling sword out, Joel. Gone, gone, plus, plus, gone. 3 is gone. 15 becomes a 5. And I'm left with a minus 5 over a minus 1 times 5. And there's that final answer. I just got to pause this for a sec. Sorry guys, someone came in and needed my attention. All right, so let's move over to this side right here. A, D squared minus 100 over 144 times 36 over D plus 10. Factor first. D plus 10. D minus 10 over 144 times 36 over d plus 10. Get your canceling sticks out. Gone, gone. 36 um, and 144, that's 1, that's 4. So my final answer is d minus 10 over 4. And the restrictions, um, D cannot equal, D cannot equal negative 10. Let's do our restrictions up there. A cannot equal negative 1, plus or minus 3. And down here, we're going to have to factor before we do it. So we'll just do that down here. Now, guys, I'm going to run out of space. So I'm going to do a little bit of factoring from here to down here in my head. A plus 3 has no factoring. A plus 1 has no factoring. Times A plus 1, A minus 1. And I'll highlight where I did that there. And then there is over a plus 3, a minus 3. Cancel, 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 cancel. a minus 1 over a minus 3. C. Since I can't do my non-permissibles here, I'm going to factor first. So the top one is uh, 2z minus 5, 2z plus 5 
over. Now I'm just going to factor this. You guys um, are going to need to factor that uh, in your um, on your own, and that's going to be. Um, 2z what have I got there uh, that's gonna be negative 8 negative 5 so that's gonna be z minus 4, 2z minus 5 times, and then over here I got z minus 4, and I got 2z, 2z plus 5. Now I do my canceling. z minus 4, z minus 4, z minus 5, z minus 5 z plus 5, z plus 5, and that leaves me with 1 half. And my non-permissible values, z cannot equal 4, 5 halves, plus or minus 5 halves. D. So, have got to do all this factoring now. So this is going to be negative 6, so positive 6 minus 1, so it's going to be p plus 3 and 2p minus 1 over 2p minus 3 times p plus 1 p minus 1 over 2, I lie, 3 to get 2p minus 1 times 2p minus 3 over, that's going to be p plus 3, p minus 1. So now I can do my non-permissible values first. P cannot equal 3 halves, 1 half, negative 3, and positive 1. Then I start my canceling. P minus 1, right there. P plus 3, right there. 2P minus 3, right there p plus 1 right there, and the only thing left is uh, p plus 1 over 3. And that's the final answer. Okay, let's move over to these guys here. These are all quotients. So what do I have to do? I have to flip them all to multiply. So when I rewrite them, I'm just going to rewrite them as multiplied. So I'm going to get... A, that factors to 2w plus 3, w minus 2, over, take out a 3w plus 2, times, flip that, w plus 2, over 2w plus 3. Now my non-permissible values, of course, are negative 2, and um, negative
negative three halves. W can't equal those. And then we do our canceling. 2w plus 3, 2w plus 3, w plus 2, w plus 2, and I'm left with w minus, oh, I'm going to write that over here, w minus 2 over 3, because I'm trying to save room. b. b minus 5 over v doesn't change, times v cubed over v plus 5, v minus 3. Then I do my v, my non-permissible values. v cannot equal 0, nor can it equal negative 5, nor can it equal 3. And then I do my canceling. Um, no, wait a minute. I did that one wrong. That's uh, minus 5 plus 3. Cancel, 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 cancel one of them. So I'm left with v squared over v plus 3. Come down to c. 9x squared minus 1 is 3x plus 1, 3x minus 1 over x plus 5, times 2 minus x over, now that is um, 3x plus, what are we here, 3x plus 2. 2, not 3. That's going to be 6, which has to be 2. That's going to be x plus 6 over 3 and x minus 1 over 3. So that's going to be x plus 2 and 3x minus 1. And then all we do is start canceling. Oh, wait, we'll do our non-permissible values first. X cannot equal negative 2, negative 5, 1 third, and 2. So plus or minus 2. And then we'll do our canceling. 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1. Um, now, these two are pretty similar, yes? So if I take a negative 1 out of there, then these guys can go. So I end up with negative 3x plus 1 over x plus 5. And finally, d. D is weird, right? Um, because it's got two divisions. So you know you've got to flip that. And then you've got to flip that. So let's tidy it up first. So that's going to be, um, and I'm using red. So 8 times 3 is 24. So that's 6 and 4. So it's going to be y plus 4 over 8 and y minus 6 over 8, which I simplify to 1 half and I simplify to 3 fourths. So I end up with 2y plus 1 and 4y minus 3 over y plus 1 y minus 1. Now, you got to think about this. I know I got to flip this, but what do I do there? If you don't remember, you should just think about it, right? If I had 3 halves divided by 1 fourth divided by 
two thirds, right? That's gonna be three halves times four over one, then divided by two thirds, yes? Now, according to bed mass, we would go in this order, yes? So it would be 12 over two divided by two thirds, which would become 12 over two times three halves, which would be 36 over four, which would equal nine. Now, everybody follows that, I assume. So come back to here and watch what happens if I just flip them both. Three squared times four over one times three over two. Three times four times three is 36. Two times one times two is four. I get the same answer. So I can go ahead and flip them. So we are working here. So we are gonna flip these. So this is going to become times two y minus one, because I factored there, over, that's two times two is four, so it has to be positive one minus four, so it's y plus one, y minus four, over two, so that's two y plus one, and y minus two, times y plus one over three minus four y. Now I can do my my uh, restricted values can't be plus or minus one because of there. We already covered the plus one there. Can't be negative one half. Can't be positive two. We already covered the minus one there. And here, y can't be three quarters. And then I start canceling. 2y plus 1, 2y plus 1. y minus 1, y minus 1. y plus 1, y plus 1. Now, what is happening here and here? If I make that guy negative 1, they're gone. So what's the only thing left? 2 right there over what's still on the bottom, y minus 2, and all that has to be negative. Then we come over to here and we fix up uh, Tessa here. So where did Tessa go wrong? Let's start here. So this is what she started. So the first thing she did was notice that she factored everywhere but she flipped this guy. That's wrong. She should have flipped this guy, right? Then all our canceling looks pretty good. So let's complete this question properly. We'll write it out first. c squared minus 36 over 2c divided by c plus 6 over 8c squared. So let's fix it up properly. c squared minus 36 over 2c times 8c squared over c plus 6. c plus 6, c minus 6 over 2c times 8c squared over c plus 6. Now we got to do our restricteds. c cannot equal 0 and c cannot equal negative 6. Now let's do our canceling. Gone, gone. 2 is going to become 1. 8 is going to become 4. That C is gone. One of those C's is gone. So I'm left with 4 C minus 6. Oh, 4 C, C minus 6. Because only one of those C's was gone. 4c, c minus 6, and then it's done. So, see, you've got it right there. There's the answer. But why is it reciprocated? Because she reciprocated the wrong one at the beginning.